Hi everyone and welcome to Phil's Fun Fact Friday from Team Vincent Motorsports in Air Ontario. Today we're going to look at the history of probably one of the most important parts of your snow belt. That's right, the brakes. They've gone through a lot of changes from 6061 through to today. Snowmobilers have always taken this little brake lever for granted, but it wasn't always there. In 6061, you had no brakes at all. You had to keep your speed down, and well, the sleds weren't that fast to begin with. In 63, 64, you got a brake, but it really wasn't that sophisticated. Basically, it was a piece of felt pushing against your secondary. The early sleds were not fast, so the brake was for slowing down and stopping. It was braking at its simplest form. The brake felt pad pushed against the driven clutch and was basic, but it worked. With power and speed came changes, which we can see under the hood of the 72 TNT. Here we have a disc brake system. It was cable activated, but with a real disc and real pads. The disc brake and cable system stuck around for quite a while, even though the race sleds had a hydraulic system. The hydraulic system, which proved itself so well on the track, made its way into the consumer market but that same hydraulic system then took racing to a whole new level. Another group of riders that really benefit from the hydraulic brake is the snowcross racer. Why? The brake helps keep the sled in control in the air. When you're going over the doubles and the triples, a bit of throttle, a bit of brake helps keep the sled level for a predictable landing. So in snowcross, not only is the gas a good friend, so is the brake. The snowmobile brake has gone through a lot of changes in 60 years. In the beginning, it didn't even exist. Today, it's a vital part of a snowmobile's performance for trail riders, for racers, and also for mountain riders. Keep an eye on those mountain videos and see how often they tweak the sled with a bit of brake finessing. Thank you so much for watching our video series here at Team Vincent Motorsports. Remember to like, share, and we like to see your comments as well. Team Vincent Motorsports, Air Ontario.